But joining us now is Democratic Congressman from California, Robert Garcia. And thank you so much for joining us, Congressman. You are on the House Oversight Committee as well as the Homeland Security Committees, which are investigating this assassination attempt on Donald Trump. Give me your reaction to this news that Secret Service Director Kimberly Cheadle is resigning. I mean, look, I think this is the right move, actually. I think you've heard from Democrats uh, that they believe that what happened was a complete failure. Um, no gunman should have been allowed to be that close within range uh, to almost assassinate uh, a candidate for president, a former president. And so this was the right decision. I thought that um, she was unable to answer questions in the committee yesterday. I think the fact that we're going to have a bipartisan task force that's going to actually still look at what actually happened and how we can make um, serious improvements in the future in the Secret Service Agency is also really, really important. But I would also just caution us that um, we still have a lot of work to do, and this issue is not settled. Uh, this was an incredibly serious breach of security. Um, we know that the president was almost assassinated. And moving forward, presidents, vice presidents, candidates need to be protected. I'll add that today, um, in, in, in within the next few hours, the Homeland Security Committee is also meeting. Uh, we're going to be talking to local law enforcement, including those in, uh, in, in the state, um, to ensure that these folks are given the resources they need and that we have all the information to find out what exactly happened. At this point, who would fill the leadership role that she would be exiting? Do you have any sense of how that will work? Look, I think we're going to hear in the next um, in the next few days how that is going to be um, administered. I think obviously the the, 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 the various departments, uh, all the partner agencies are going to be involved, and we do know that the FBI is already involved in leading uh, this investigation. Um, we Congress is also going to be uh, involved and engage a lot of opinions here about how to ha how to handle this. What I want to make real clear to the public is that this is bipartisan. Both Republicans and Democrats have united, um, have been very clear about the security breach. Uh, support the task force, and the work continues. Uh, Homeland Security is meeting today. What were the local um, agencies? What was their responsibility? What were they doing or not doing? And how did they work with the Secret Ser Service uh, to protect um, that, that that rally, where we obviously were incredibly tragic? These are still really important questions. And so I just caution us that just because she resigned, that does not solve the serious challenges that we have at the Secret Service. Congressman, we just got reaction from Donald Trump on. Truth Social posting this, the Biden-Harris administration did not properly protect me, he says, and I was forced to take a bullet for democracy. It was my great honor to do so. Those words from Donald Trump following the resignation or the news of the resignation of Secret Service Director Kimberly Cheadle. What's your response to what Donald Trump is saying about this, blaming it on the Biden-Harris administration? I mean, honestly, that's shameful. Uh, I think that it's incredibly irresponsible to blame um, President Biden for this security failure. And, I, of course, he has now done this on multiple occasions, uh, uh, came out, and immediately him and his allies blaming uh, the president and Democrats for this. Uh, that is not helpful. Uh, that is below um, uh, anyone running for office to say. And it, it's quite shameful and disgusting to say at this moment. What's important is to focus in a bipartisan way to ensure that this does not happen again. The director did the right thing. She has resigned. She has stepped away. We have a lot of questions still. We're demanding answers to ensure this does not happen again. But at this moment, certainly Donald Trump nor his allies should not be politicizing and trying to put blame on the president or vice president. Uh, really unfortunate, but honestly, not a surprise that he would say that. One thing we heard from Director Cheadle yesterday during the hearing was that this was a manpower issue, that the Secret Service needs more resources, more money, more people. In fact, we do know their budget somewhere in the realm of $3 billion. That's up since 2014, about a billion or more since then, but they have seen a decrease in the, the number of staff members who serve in the Secret Service. We also know that, according to the director yesterday, they had 7,500 events just this year that required Secret Service protection that they also currently 
protect 36 people on a daily basis. Plus, you have world leaders who come and visit, which requires resources as well. What is Congress's role in making sure they have enough resources to adequately protect those who they're tasked with providing security for? Well, and that's exactly what both the Oversight Committee and the Homeland Security Committee, both of which uh, I'm a member of, are actually doing right now. And so I think that the recommendations out of the task force and the committees are absolutely going to have funding as a piece of this. There is no question that Secret Service and many of our law enforcement federal agencies actually need more support. Um, that's why many of us, particularly as Democrats, have supported increases to ensure that our federal employees, that our law enforcement officials, that our agents are getting the support that they need. So I'm hopeful that Republicans and Democrats can come together and actually support these hardworking uh, workers and get them the resources, the technology that they need. We are short-staffed in the Secret Service. We are short-staffed in the FBI and many of our agencies. And so um, I'm really hopeful that this is a moment we can come together and get the agencies the support and the reforms, by the way, because there are serious challenges and reforms that need to be made um, happening at our agencies. Congressman Robert Garcia from California, thank you so much for joining us.